My beloved sweet darlings, I'm sorry, I forgot. One other, few other visions. Um, but I'm going to go right into it. Okay. I had, um, within the last couple of months, a vision, or dream, sorry, at night, of Obama in the Oval Office with um, two or three more gentlemen. And I heard him say it was not supposed to happen this way. That's what Obama said. And then one of the other gentlemen said in the background, everything has fallen into place. You know, guys, I don't trust the me I don't trust the media very much. I I just feel like they're puppets for the the Illuminati and the elite. They they're told what to say and what to do. So as much as you can, you know, the mainstream news is is I don't know, it's just not to be trusted. Um, the second vision I had is um, there was chaos. Um, this, this vision I remember was at work. There was a lot of chaos because there was a lot of people that were confused because a lot of loved ones were missing, and I believe that the rapture had just happened. I know the rapture is not a word in the Bible. Um, there's other terms in there, redeeming, delivering, I believe that I saw in the Bible, but I believe that Christ is coming, and you need to be alert and ready for that, you know, get baptized, if you weren't baptized, get, you know, get saved, repent of your sins, do everything you can to stay away from sin, fasting is great to help you combat some sin, you know, we're all human beings, we struggle, just talk to God and He'll guide you, have Him fill you with the Holy Spirit, um, you could fast if it's medically acceptable for you, I'm actually fasting right now, Trust me, you get moody because you like your ice cream and, you know, you like to have your snacks and whatnot. But, you know, God comes first. So you have to take needs of the flesh and you have to just sweep it under the rug. So anyways, in that one, I believe that the rapture had just happened. And there was a lot of people left behind. And then another dream I saw, um, a cemetery and on the right side there was countless of bodies now I firmly believe in my spirit that a catastrophe is going to strike this planet now please keep in mind that prophecies dreams revelations whatever you want to call it they could take years to pass even centuries it doesn't make them false you still need to not trust me anyone you still need to test and try the spirit as it says in John okay I'm not a prophet, I say that all the time, nor do I imply prophecy. These dreams and visions, I always say, I believe they're from the Lord, or I believe I had a word from the Lord, or I, you know, this is my observation. Um, so in this other dream, like I said, there was a cemetery, and to the right, there was millions of dead bodies. I don't mean to sound graphic, you guys, but I just don't want to sugarcoat the truth. I, I try to, you know, I, I tell you the truth like it is in a loving and, and patient manner, but I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Um, I saw another black cloud forming. This is a second vision dream of a meteor shower. And another vision of a solar eclipse. It was, and like I said, this one, it was a large object enough to completely block out the sun. And it was a darkness that, it looks like it's going to be for hours. I don't know how long, and I don't know if this has any any relation to the three days of darkness, because the three days of darkness is talked about in Revelations, I believe it's chapter 7, I know it's there, because I was going over it, I was looking at it a few days ago, and it talks about um, how there will be, it says like nine hours of darkness or something like that, and I believe that the three hours represents a day again this is just my observation my belief but it is referenced in revelations it is going to happen it's not something that's not going to happen because it's foretold this is not a doctrine that's created by man it's created by scripture and scripture as it says in timothy is inspired by god and it's meant it's for reproof um, correction i believe and righteousness I'm paraphrasing, but I'd like you to check out Timothy. I post the scriptures on that on my other channel. I have another channel called, um, look at that. Oh, 
the house of God, I believe it's called. <laughs> I can't remember my other channel. My other channel is meant to teach as much as I can about the scriptures and um, as best as I can because I'm not a biblical scholar. Each video I do, I pray on it, and it's driven by the Holy Spirit. I mean, I have to be careful what I say to the saints. Anyway, going back to the vision. Um, oh, another object, large asteroid, I believe, or meteor, is discovered. I'm not sure when it's head, where it's headed, but the other point that I was making, that sometimes dreams or visions or whatever could take years, centuries to come true, because in the book, I believe, of Isaiah, Isaiah or Luke or John. I know it's in the scriptures, you guys. Like I said, I'm a, I'm not perfect. I'm working. I'm learning every day and growing in the Lord. But it talks about how Israel was reconstituted a nation in 1948, and that came to pass already in 1948. The United Nations voted Israel to recognize them as a sovereign state, and um, that was prophesied centuries ago. Do you see what I'm saying? That that it takes centuries for a you know a revelation, a dream, vision, whatever to come true. If it is from the Lord, it will come to pass. If it's not from the Lord, and if that person prophesied and stated that the Lord gave him that vision or dream as a fact, then according to Deuteronomy, if you prophesy something and it doesn't come to pass, that's considered a false prophet. Look that up. That's why I always say, beloved. When you are getting a vision or word from the Lord, it's always good to say, I believe, or I, I, um, I have an observation, or this is my opinion. Because um, if you say this fact, and it doesn't come to pass, or your doctrine doesn't align with what scripture says, that's along the lines of falsehood. And, you know, God will hold you accountable for that because, you know, you're, you're te you know, you have a lot of, uh, saints that are young to the faith of Christ and that are new and that will believe everything you say and a lot of body of Christ that doesn't even discern anything and it's a shame but that, that's that's how it is now so just got to really be careful what you say watch what you say and you know test and try every spirit as it says in John but anyway going back to what I'm saying because I strayed off um, I believe that more tension is going to escalate in Egypt. It's not going to get any better. And that tension is going to spill over into the neighboring nations. This is my observation. I don't state these as fact. I don't set dates on these. Like I said, I believe these are words, dreams, visions from the Lord. I'm not going to state it as fact in case I'm in error. And I'm going to mention this in every video. Um, let me see. Oh, this one right here is a pretty strong dream there's two of them one i gotta go over now it says uh, my husband and i were on a train and um there was a woman that was a demon but she appeared as a woman and she was staring at my husband because my husband was saved a few weeks back in the beginning of october october 4th i believe and um you know, when you're getting closer to God in that spiritual walk, um, the demonic attacks will increase, especially if you're perceived as a threat, meaning if you're, you're teaching by the Word of God, you're living by the Word of God, you're living for the will of Jesus Christ, for Jesus Christ, not for yourself, neglecting the cares of this world, but devoting your full attention to the Lord, um, and saving souls, you're perceived as a threat. But... I'm going to quickly cover this because my uh, husband's coming back from getting our son up from the bus stop. Anyway, this demon was staring at my husband with hate. I believe that they can target my husband. The second dream, I was in a waiting area with uh, many people that resembled... Um, oh, wait a minute. I already talked about that. But this other dream I wanted to talk about was me and my husband were driving. And I was in the front seat of the car, and my husband was in the back seat of the car. And um, I don't know if you know if you've ever been to the New York area, New Jersey area. There's like at least six lanes in the highway, and each one has a booth that that's for easy pass. 
and each one has maybe a, a police presence and there's an employee in each booth that um, collects the toll. So in this particular dream, instead of there being a police presence, there was a presence of the military in each one. So a gentleman came up to my car. He was in the military. His uniform looked so different. It was camouflaged in blue, green, gray, black, what have you. He came to my um, area and he told me to pull out my arm. One second, you guys. So I pulled out my arm, right? And he had this device and he was trying to read my arm. He told me to pull out my right arm, but he couldn't read it. And then he told my husband to pull out his arm. And my husband's really, least, you know, retired from the military. And when he read my husband's arm, he got my husband's dental records, medical records, everything about my husband appeared on this device. So he called his colleague over to try to read me again, and he couldn't. This gun likes the mark of the beast. I know that in this dream, I saw a bunch of military trucks on the side, and I saw people being gathered that they were already stored in the trucks. So I think that he told me in the dream, the military, the, the officer, wait here, and the dream ended. So I think that that had to do that the mark of the beast is coming. Well, you guys, I'll post more videos as soon as I come, since I, I feel led by the Holy Spirit. I had my day off, um, like I said in my other channel, it was hacked, so I had to compile all my dreams and visions, they were pouring through me like nothing, and just write them out. God bless you.